All right, good morning, guys. Good morning, Adam. Hey, Larry. Okay, we're good to go. All right, so let's take a look at this. So this afternoon, uh, we're getting this um, uh, over to uh, Gerald. He's going to wrap and get out on a members page of strategy. Uh, this is the momentum strat you're going to get. So I'm going to go over this uh, briefly here this morning. I know that the um, PPI news came out, so we won't be too long on this. It's not uh, a, a big learning curve you got to have on this thing. Uh, it's basically it's it's a breakout strategy. So we know that the breakout strategy yesterday gave us about a seven minute heads up on that uh, beautiful um, twenty point potential yesterday too. So let's go over this strat and what it does and how it relates to the room chart. So the room charts, um, as we know from yesterday's video, I went over two strategies that we have. Um, you're going to get um, this indicator package that's going to be set up just like this also uh, with the strategy, the breakout uh, strategy uh, with you also. So you'll have uh, the indicator package that shows in the room, and then you'll have the strategy breakout uh, a strategy that, that comes with it. So very simple. We know that these dots, when they come up, um, they are uh, breakout levels in the market. So um, what we'll do, like yesterday, uh, when I drew this up, uh, today's breakout level is actually here. Let's look at it today before we get started. We're not near the S&P. Um, right now it is sitting at, uh, what, 91.5 would be our breakdown level until a new one forms. Um, if you look at what happened yesterday, uh, the big short, we had a breakout uh, that happened yesterday uh, at that level, um, and then the big breakdown was here. So uh, we had the breakdown that was a big, nice runner, and I'm going to show you how the strategy can pick that up. That's where she broke down yesterday. So when these dots form in the room, you'll see price action here. So we got a trend. Our trend filters down. Very simply, yesterday. This dot came up at uh, 954, this horizontal dot, or it's an equal ATR close. So it came out at uh, 954.23, uh, starting to form, you know, yesterday, around, uh, what, the second one formed around 958 or so. So the break actually happened, which you want to break this swing low. Now, the strategy will do this for you automatically. So you want to break this low with trend for a continuation. So if you noticed, when we broke through this low and closed below that low, the market was, what, 47, uh, 48.0750, and we had a 20-point move down on the S&P. We just got cranked to the downside. So for you room members, the easiest way to see it is, is that if you're just visually looking at it, and you'll get this workspace set up for you, um, it's, it's actually a three close below where these dots form. It's one, two, three below the dots, or one close below that swing low where the dots form. So indicator-wise, as far as the indicator goes, when it fires off on your own charts, um, it will actually be a one, two, three candle close below those dots to pull into the market, or is basically just breaking that swing low, a one candle close below that swing low. Now the strategy will do this for you automatically. So I'll show you a breakout, uh, and then we'll go over over um, how this works. So the, basically that is with overall trend. These will always be with trend. So the neat thing about this breakout or break uh, this uh, zone breakout strategy is the reason it works like it does, where you get some energy in the market. It's basically catching the rolling position traders. So if you notice when this formed yesterday, it gave you a big heads up when the second one formed. Um, it gave you around a seven minute heads up before it broke. It closed, one, two, three, below those dots, or below that swing low, one, one close. You can draw a line in there if you want. You see it if you're doing it for chart trader to see when the break exactly happens to the exact bar, if you want to do that. Or you can use the strategy to, to catch uh, these moves also. So uh, the reason it works uh, uh, on catching these momentum swings 
is you, for, for when you're shorting, you got these sell stops below these levels. So when you finally break these ATR zones, these sell stops start hitting, and then it feeds upon itself. It's like a self self generating trade because these stops will be below where these ATR levels are at typically, and that you'll see a nice move in the uh, S and P. If you play yesterday's video. You can see the energy in the NASDAQ futures uh, likes to happen um, at, at when the London opens at 3 a.m. in the morning. And at that 3 a.m., you typically see a nice surge in the market. And then you see a nice little follow-through to the upside or downside. So, you know, you, you'll see a nice little push to the upside, downside, right when the London opens. And you'll want to try to get into those breakouts. So if I were to look at that strategy, let me just turn this strategy off and look at the, the NASDAQ futures here in a second. I'll show you, see where, where you, you, you are going to anticipate this strategy going long or short. So for example, let, let me look at this example for, from, from yesterday on the breakout in the afternoon. So here's a breakout in the afternoon that happened, okay? This is the same time it broke out right here. So in the room, we have, we have our trend filter that is up. Green, this is our trend filter, green dots. This breakout strategy will only go with my ATR trend. So this is the, the trend filter we have tested for over 30 years of back testing, right? So this has been tested uh, through, um, through an AI program that uh, one of our members used to test, to, to find our, our, to confirm these are our best zones. So our 5438 has been confirmed over the last 30 years according to our testing that these are the best zones for trend, to find trend and to find retracement levels to trade off of. So doing that, we know that if we're going to take breakout levels, we want to go with this zone trend. So if they're green dots, we're looking for the, the, the breakout level will only go with the green zone trend. If we're breaking down like that 20-point potential yesterday, we were red zone trend. So we're waiting for the red dots to break down or the green dots to break out here, right? So yesterday we were green zone trend up. Okay, once this swing high broke, all right, one, two, three, you break out. It's a three candle close so you don't get it in top. Or you can count three candles from the break. Once you break out of that level, this strategy is going to go long, okay? So once that strategy goes long, you're going to have your stop in, you're going to have your target in, and break even plus one or what have you. It's not going to add additional trades. It's strictly looking for this specific breakout level, this specific level to break out, okay? So it's not looking at anything else. We're not looking at, um, um, we're not looking at any other level it's just strictly looking for this breakout level when these dots form as soon as we close above it the strategy will go long with your stop and your targets now inside of it is very 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 simple it's not very hard to understand and i'm going to go over that in a second so the energy in the market you know like i said is based upon um, these dots are based upon the energy of in a zone breaking so uh, let's say for example um, this is yesterday at the, we had some, I'm going to show you yesterday's energy on the NASDAQ futures. So this is the NASDAQ breakout strategy at the open, um, and I'll show you this morning's trade also. So you can see that this was the breakout level the strategy had, had found. This gave us slippage because it was fast. But you can tell that, that the reason I'm showing you this chart, there's energy at 3 o'clock when the London opens up if you trade the NASDAQ futures. So you can use the strategy between uh, the time zone three and four to capture some of this energy. Um, same thing at the close. Um, you see a lot of energy at the close between 3.50 to 4 o'clock in the evening when in, you yeah, see a little uh, algorithm push or institutional push uh, uh, into the close or, or, or what have you, uh, either down or up. So this allows you to uh, get the key breakout levels, whether using the strategy or the indicator, to try to get this sweet spot of energy you know that we're talking about so and let, let me turn this strategy off real quick and I'll show you see if we can see where the 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 sweet spots would be here this morning 
this morning on the indicator. So at 3 o'clock, I talked about the energy in the market on the NASDAQ futures uh, on the London Open. Well, here's a London Open at 3. At 3 o'clock, it opens up. Now check how the indicator finds the breakout spot. So here, London opens up. We have a breakdown level here on the NASDAQ futures. Here's our breakout level. Here's our breakout level. So you can see as, as far as the indicator goes, you'll see these on the, on the indicator, but then you can use it as far as the strategy also. And then you'll see that we have another breakout level here. Look at the energy we get. So what we can do is we can utilize the strategy at these key levels. All right, so you have three opportunities here. Here's where the strategy will long. Here, all with the 165.65 trend, and then here. So even looking at a blank chart with this on it, you can see that those levels are our breakout levels, and that's where the strategy will enter the system. So you can see these are real nice key levels for this morning for the momentum that we get into the market. Same thing yesterday into the S&P on that big breakdown. So that, let's look at the guts of it. You know, how much learning curve is there to this breakout strategy that you're getting? There's no really learning curve because it's very simple. Either we're in an uptrend or we're in a downtrend, period. And that's it. Either our zone is trending up or our zone is trending down. If it's trending down, then we're looking for breakdowns. If it's trending up, we're looking for breakouts. And that's, there's, it's, that's all there is to it. There's nothing more difficult to understand about that. If I go inside the strategy then, and let's take a look at inside the strategy, it's very simple. I have the zone already pre-programmed in. The zone's already pre-programmed in. Right there's my program in the zone. The zone's already pre-programmed in, 165, 65. That's a trend filter. That's these zones. All right. So they're already pre-programmed in. My other zones are already pre-programmed in. Uh, your ATR ticks, they're already pre-programmed in. You can, I, there is one adjustment you can make to this to, to have more trades, which I'll go over. But very simple is your, your target ticks, right? So your ATR zone breakouts are there. They're, they're, they're very simple. It's a very simple strategy. There's target one, target two, three, four, five, six. But here's your start and stop time. So let's say you wanted to trade that uh, window of three to four o'clock only on the uh, of the London Open, or if you wanted to trade, let's say that you wanted to trade um, the close of that 10 minute push, then you put 17 or 350 to six uh, to four o'clock, right? And then it would only trade that window and try to look for energy on a breakout push if you want to do that. Or let's say you just wanted to trade from volume times in the market. You want to trade the 9.30 open uh, when the volume is coming in on these markets. And you want to trade from 9.30 to, let's say, you wanted to trade to 11 o'clock. You can do that. All right. I made it very simple for you guys to, to understand. You know, it's only going to take breakouts from 9.30 to 11. Then. All right. That's everything's built into the code. I didn't want to make it difficult uh, for you guys to understand. Everything is building the code, and there's your hard stop. Break even plus one will happen after your first target is hit. So after your first target is hit, that's your break even plus one that will occur um, after uh, you have BE plus one or, or, or not. Totally up to you. I wanted to make it a simple strategy so you could understand it. Um, everything's built into the code on the breakout. It's very simple, like I said. Either we're trending up or we're trending down. When the S&P broke for 20 S&P points yesterday, it's a very simple strategy. If you look when it broke down, it was very simple. Either it breaks down or it breaks out. So when we're in a downtrend here, we're in a downtrend. You can see we're in a downtrend. And then our, our, our level, our ledge came up. There's your breakdown. It's very simple. And the strategy, you can use the strategy or you can use the indicator-based system to pop in the trade and you're good to go. So 
don't make it any more difficult than that. Um, we're going to get this strategy out to you first because I want to train with this, with trend. And I'm going to get this indicator in a, uh, indicator over to you here out also. So this comes out to you. Um, this goes over to Gerald this afternoon. He's going to start wrapping this for members. Members only uh, will get this strategy. Um, I will, looks like, be limiting this strategy uh, uh, to certain members, meaning is, is, is there a number I may cut it off to? Maybe, because, you know, we're all getting the same breakout levels. So we're trading the S&P, though. It's a really high-volume instrument. So we're very small fish in a big sea. But, um, you know, all current members, your grandfather did this thing already. And then, um, you know, we'll, uh, we'll see how far we want to take this out to, to, to uh, new members and stuff like that because of how it catches a nice breakout or breakdown level. So all current members that's on the board, this is what you're going to be getting. Um, and then um, you'll get the indicator with it, like I said, on the new strat uh, it, uh, with the workspace. And we'll be good to go. So the key is this, is that right now, if I look on the S&P, if I were to trade a strategy, let's pop this off to make sure you understand it. If I were looking at to trade breakout or breakdown levels in the market on the S&P today, like we caught yesterday on that 20-point run, here's your breakdown level for today, currently right now. Don't make it any more difficult than this. And there's your breakout level. So there's my breakout and there's my breakdown level, okay? So this workspace will be set up for you already. Now, this workspace will also come with our J-Wave indicator. So our J-Wave indicator has all my other indicators already built into it. First wave, slingshot, momo, failure, and trap with an audible alert. Now, when these arrows fire up, so we got two types of strategies, right? I went over this yesterday a little bit. I'll touch base on it. We got our retracement strategies, which these arrows will fire off with an audible alert. And you can confirm these, uh, these arrows to fire in or fire out of the trade with a stronger, weaker market. What does that mean? Well, it means that if when these arrows fire off, you can confirm it, even in chop markets, it will, it will let you know if the market should follow through or, through or not with these arrows. So, if we go back and we look at today's trade setup, we'll start from this morning and, and work our way through from midnight. So the first one came up at this level. This is a failure trade. That's a breakout level from this morning. But So when this failure trade comes up and this arrow and audible alert comes on your computer, this happened at 4.48 this morning on the S&P, you can use this preloaded uh, uh, a workspace here for you to get below the 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 week to show you that you're going into a weak market in other words you can use the oscillator below to confirm that one of these trades that automatically fire one two three four five trades first wave slingshot momo or failure or trap is confirmed going into a weaker market that confirmed that that is a weak market when the arrow fired that is a nice short well, this is a liquidity grab trade that came up. The next arrow came up here as a slingshot with trend. But look at the oscillator. Did not confirm it. Did not get above my 100. So you would not look to take a trade at that level. But then the arrow came up again. The arrow came up, and we know this. When they come up back to back like this, this is called a trap trade. Or this is called a liquidity grab, where they're grabbing liquidity to all of me take the market hard down. When I see these two come up together, I get quite excited because I know it's a liquidity grab, they are taking in order flow to bring it one direction on a possible big hard move. You have a high probability move potential. Well, you can see that these three arrows were confirmed by a weaker, stronger market. As soon as that arrow fired, we got below the zero or minus 100, and the market was weak. Look how weak it stayed the whole time. This is a weak, weak, weak market, right? So you could use, so there's two types of trading. You can do the strategy breakout trades because the market, this is why I came up with this, the more I thought about this. My retracement trading works really well on catching the beginning of moves, right? 
works really well catching beginning moves at the zones. And I wanted a way to confirm that when these arrows fired off, that we're going into a weaker, stronger market, right? Because you want to sell weakness and buy strength. So using this oscillator below helps out. Arrow fires off, you're into weakness, great trade. Arrow fires off, does not get above 100, not in a strong market, no trade. Arrow fires off, gets into weakness, major trade, market tanks. This morning, same thing, arrow fires off, no trade, doesn't get below 0 or 100, minus 100. Arrow fires off, gets a strong market, takes off. This arrow fires off, does not get into weakness, no trade. So same with yesterday. When we broke out, okay, before we broke out onto this trade here, before we broke out into this momentum trade, what I noticed in the market is this. The arrow fires off here, right? This is a, mo a momentum trade, a MOMO. So if you look at the MOMO trade that came up at that level, look out was confirmed when the oscillator gets above 100 and it stays into a strong market the whole time. All right? We had two breakout trades. We had a breakout trade here. Here's where the dots formed. Here's one breakout trade. We can use a breakout strategy there. And here's the other breakout dots that formed also to give you a nice little momentum uh, momentum continuation move. So you can see you got the best of both worlds. You got the retracement trading with the arrows that automatically fire at a big inflection point with the zones and with an audible alert. And then you got the strategy trading that you can trade with the momentum of the market. These strategy trades like this that come up with the momentum of the market, right? Or with the overall trend. So what you're doing is, is you're essentially buying high and selling higher. You're buying high and selling higher, right? In the morning, you're shorting low. You're shorting low here. And buying lower, right? It catches a sweet spot in the market. And so... That's what we're, we're uh, like I said, today, we'll get that over, uh, to, I'll get these over to Gerald. Um, the indicator with the audible alert, and then um, we're going to go with this strategy first because it's easy to understand. Um, I want you to understand momentum because this strategy works really well with momentum of the market, and it's with the overall trend. And there's not a lot, of, it's not a big learning curve because it's very simple. If you're in a downtrend, like I said, you're looking for breakdowns right here. You're looking for breakdowns. If you're in an uptrend, we're looking for breakouts. Then, then we're looking for breakouts right here if you're in an uptrend with green when these dots form. It's that simple, okay? So if I look today, we just had a, uh, um, if I look today, the breakout levels, I'm looking for a breakout right now in the S&P. So the strategy would go long if I close above this level. The strategy would go short if I close below this level. That's simple. Don't make it any more difficult than that. Okay, so this morning on the S&P, PPI just came out. It's just after 9 o'clock, 9.01. I'm looking for a breakout right here. I'm looking for this swing high to be broken because my ATR zone breakout would be at this level with overall, overall zone trend. My zone is up. My key zones are up. I'm looking to buy the breakout at this level. What market doesn't matter what market you trade. If I was if I were to look at the Nasdaq futures, right? And I'm just looking at the chart, then I'm looking at the Nasdaq futures. I would want the Nasdaq futures to break out at this level, right? Or if I look at it doesn't matter what market you look at. If I looked at crude oil or if I looked at any type of market, then the crude oil trade this morning, you can turn the strat on, and it actually is getting you short on crude oil right there also, right? So it's actually, it, let, it, it lets you get into breakouts with overall trend. 